One of the nice things about coming to the Auto Sports Show is you get to catch up with manufacturers like Radical, and this is their new car here. It's called the RXC Spider. Now, you might think that it's just obviously a sort of an RXC with the, uh, the roof chopped off, but obviously it's not really as simple as that. This, for a start, is a race car. It's, um, well, it's designed to sit above the SR8 in the sort of championship, but sort of it's pretty similar on terms of performance, but it's slightly longer, slightly wider, and it should be slightly easier to drive. So it's got power steering for a start, um, and it should be more stable. We'll get to sort of one of the reasons why, because it's weight distribution, which I'll talk about in a minute. It's got a seven speed uh, gearbox and yeah, it's all rather more sort of grown up in here with this sort of lovely TFT screen and all this. And yeah, it does feel a bit, bit roomier. It's sort of, I suppose, it feels a bit more grown up, a bit, bit, of, a, bit of a leap up, I suppose. It's yours for 130,000 pounds. So I got out of the car. Um, incidentally, I was quite low in the car and um, despite being pretty tall, it's sort of, even my height is here to kind of look over the, over the top. Anyway. I'm sure we find with a couple of cushions and come over to the engine and gearbox obviously so this is the three liter v8 440 brake horsepower 260 pounds for 280 pounds for the torque uh 72 degrees in the v of the v8 and it's only powering 860 kilos so it's obviously still extremely rapid but the new bits at the back which is this transverse gearbox uh designed by quaif and normally obviously where you'd have the drive going out of the engine through the gears and then being switched to go out to the wheels at the back. This comes in, the drive is switched direction before it gets into the gearbox here. So you can slow it down and say wear and all that sort of thing. And yeah, it obviously makes the whole gearbox assembly that much shorter as well, aiding weight distribution. And this blue bit on the side is obviously for the paddle shift as well. Ooh, very clever stuff. Seven speed as well. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the SR3 just over there. This is the new SR3 yours for about £80,000. It's, uh, I suppose it's a sort of the more bread and butter. It's what we knew, grew up knowing Radical for. It's got the new sort of nose to it. It's got the sort of twin tunnel aero on the front now. The bigger news is perhaps at the back where the aero has changed. So you've got the bodywork where you've got a section you can lift off to work on the engine and the struts of the aero now go through to the chassis. So rather than attaching to the bodywork, which means you can actually add more aero to it. It's still got the uh, 1500cc engine in it and um, yeah, I'm sure it's as fun as ever. I love these things, they're just, they're just brilliant. So there we are, that's the Radical Stand. I thought we'd finish up back here with another RXC Spider with a rear body work off. So, so you can see that lovely weight distribution and all the beautiful engineering underneath. Anyway, if you um, would like to click on the link below, then you'll see a gallery. Just in case you think that all Radicals sort of look the same, you can see a gallery going through the ages of all the different variations. So click on that link uh, on evo.co.uk.